Anthony Sequer here with IT Pro TV. And one of the questions I get asked all of the time on my various social media channels is, can I help the individual with their CCIE? They're wanting to pursue the CCIE and they want a mentor. Obviously, it's not practical for me to mentor all of these individuals. I wish I had that kind of time. But what's interesting is I did overhear here at IT Pro TV that my good friend and co-trainer Ronnie Wong is interested in CCIE. So we thought we would record every second of my working with him in this pursuit if it's an actual reality that he's interested in CCIE. In fact, I happened to see him sitting right out there in the IT Pro TV lobby, and I think we should begin our discussions with Ronnie Wong right now and see if this is even a reality. Ronnie, dude, I heard that you are interested in CCIE. Yeah, where'd you hear that from? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love this, right? Um, it was Don Pazette, actually, who said you, he said yeah. you were getting your CCIE. Oh, did he? Yeah. yeah. Well, I've, I've been interested in getting my CCIE, uh, and it was probably about the same time that, that Don was actually interested in getting it, but I kind of knew that at that point, like, for me, it's a long-range goal. So I, I, as work per, uh, continued on, yep. it kind of got delayed more and more, but sure. I, I'm still interested in, in pursuing it. When did it. you start thinking about it? So it's probably been a good five years or so. And where were you in your certs? Was it like after CCNA, you were like, oh, this is so cool? Well, it, it was when I started pursuing my CCNP. So it was probably a few years before, a couple of years. Uh, I had ended up teaching uh, CCNA for a while. And then, you know, I was like, oh, I, I want to pursue my CCNP. And at that point, like I said, Don was actually pursuing his CCIE. I was like, oh. I'd like to do that too, but I just knew at that point I wasn't exactly ready for it since I hadn't gotten to the CCMP level. Yeah. But yeah, it's still a long-term goal of mine. Awesome. Do you, do you ever find yourself digging in deeper to topics, for instance, like let's say EIGRP and the, what can be really daunting metric yeah. You know, do you ever find yourself digging in deeper and going farther than you need to in order to teach one of your shows? Um, more than likely, that's what I'm known for is probably going too overboard. Uh, if there's Ronnie, a criticism. that's great because yeah. that that right there is kind of one of the barometers. You know, I think those students that are studying and then they're like, oh, is that all I need to know for X, Y, Z exam? OK, I'm done. That's, I'm not saying that they shouldn't do that. I'm just saying that that's kind of troublesome to hear if they're thinking about CCIE right. because one of the things I, I definitely believe is that you always want to be digging deeper because that's what the CCIE exam eventually forces you to be able to do. Right. If you can't go that extra step, think outside the box or think about something on a really deep level. Um, so that's interesting. So that's a good sign. So one of the things that I think you're going to need to do is you're probably going to want to really commit to this. You're really going to have to get off that fence of maybe I'll do it someday and you're going to have to really commit. And I don't think you can make that decision on your own because I happen to know that you have a wife and daughter right? and you know, you're at the very least going to have to, I think, speak to the wife about this mm -hmm. because of the incredible commitment that it's going to be. Mm -hmm. um, something else is, and we can talk about this the next time we chat about this, but the why, you know, why do you want it? I'll give you a, a quick example. So I got my route switch and I had my reasons for getting it and they were concrete, and they were definitive, and I decided I'm getting it. Mm -hmm. And thank goodness I made that decision, Ronnie, because I failed, and then failed again, and then failed again. And I was, at that point, so frustrated. I was contemplating giving up, and my wife went, oh, you're not giving up. Oh, no, 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 no. And she reminded me of the whys, and she just really pushed me to keep going. 
So her buy-in ended up right. being critical because she ended up saving my whole pursuit of it. But those whys were so incredibly important and I just wanna um, make sure you have those. But the, the main point I was going for was I then decided to get a second one <laughs> and I did not have any concrete whys. Right. You know, there would be no chance of making more money. Mm. There would be no, I didn't really even have that much of an interest in the track that I was looking at for a second one. And I realized, oh my gosh, I'm really struggling with this. I went and failed the lab exam twice on that track mm. and was like, what's going on here? And then I realized, oh my gosh, I, the only, the main reason I'm getting this is because one of my best friends has two of them. Oh. You know? And I, and I want to be as cool as that guy and have two of them. And that's not, you know, that's not going to hold up. That's not nearly a strong enough why. So I pulled the plug on the second track and was just like, yeah, until I have that real strong why I want to do this, I'm not going to attack it. So I would encourage you to really think about those whys. I would definitely speak to your wife, your friends, your family that are going to be impacted uh, by this. And then um, let's definitely chat about this again. Sounds like a great idea. Cool. Well, Ronnie has his initial assignment. And of course, we're gonna be discussing with Ronnie the results of that initial assignment. Coming up next for Ronnie, we're gonna delve into the whys. It really is important, as you'll learn, to have clear cut, why are you doing this to yourself? Why are you torturing yourself with CCIE preparation? I'm so thrilled that you've joined us for this journey. You get to watch us torture Ronnie, and we're gonna learn so much from Ronnie's experiences. And I've gotta say, in all seriousness, I can't believe how cool it is for Ronnie Wong to take this journey publicly. So many people study for their CCIE almost in secrecy because they don't want the added pressure that would go with anyone knowing that they're doing it. So Ronnie couldn't be any more opposite of that. He's letting us follow along with him. And of course, it's open to the entire world compliments of YouTube. Thanks so much for joining us in this episode.